Hi, I'm Joan Mays, one of the business managers here at the Ball Seed Company, and I have the privilege to be the head of the Container Solutions Committee. So, with that, we get to work on perennial container solutions, which is really exciting, utilizing the best of the Darwin products. You'd be amazed at how well perennials do indeed work in mixed combos, and it gives you a look and feel that you can't get anywhere else. A couple of items that I like to work with from Darwin, particularly the um, Gara Belize Dark Pink. It does a great presentation and it mixes well with other colors, particularly the um, Dianthus Everlast Lilac with Eye. It works out really well because you can pick up the colors and they play together. And we set it off with a little Lismachia just for that pop of color. So it gives you something that you cannot get anywhere else with any other type of annuals and it's really exciting. With perennial containers, you do have to keep in mind that they do stage. They are perennial, so perennial for you know bloom early mid and late we tried to use as many as the first year flowering perennials as possible to give an excellent price point for the container give you that interest and give you that full color this year we've added on a splash of annual color and the baby duck petunia will stay controlled so you can get an interesting look using annuals and perennials if necessary the celestial blue moon viola can't live without it. It's a perennial container staple. Here we are um, June 19th and this was this plant was gorgeous for weeks and it's still going to be beautiful for quite some time because they have some excellent staying power within the within the container, within the garden, within their great summer great summer item. The Delphinium Desante Blue, that is a great seed Delphinium, first year flowering, very excited about it. You can get a great height on the, on the delphinium, but yet you don't get the flop and the thick stem that you might get with other types of delphinium, it's particularly in a container. It's very important that the plants stay. You want a height element, but not so wacky that it's still able to be rackable and shippable uh, for your customers. And again, these containers were all created utilizing 102 uh, liners for the most part, all first year flowering. How we did all the containers is basically planting them at the end of March keeping them in a very cold greenhouse with approximately 50, 50 to 5 degree night temperatures, a slow release fertilizer incorporated into the soil, and then basically ignored. Water as necessary, they were then put outside uh, on the driveway behind ball and left to the elements. And so if it got cold, it got cold. If it was windy, it got windy. No particular pruning, pinching, PGRs, or anything else done to them. And voila, we have some gorgeous perennial containers for you. So we hope this will be a nice solution for your customers and a different opportunity for them to be profitable. Thank you very much.